Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and this one is on how to play Pokemon Sword and Shield on PC using the Yuzu emulator. Now there is already a guide up from me but that was when you had to use the save file you couldn't really play the story which is the whole point of playing the game and it was laggy as hell. In this video that will all be fixed the performance is way better you can start from the start and uh, yeah let's get right into it subscribe and like this video if it works uh, it's really appreciated it helps getting this video to other people okay so the links you'll be downloading are down in the description which will be the emulator itself the game which is in free parts after you get those free parts you extract part one of the game and it will show an xci file and that is the game now you won't need the save file anymore. You will need prod keys. I'll put an alternative link if uh, one of these doesn't work. You will not need the title keys anymore. And uh, I hopefully have some shader cache for you as well in the description. Just download all the files and watch the whole video, please. Because so many people ask me questions which I actually already answered in the video. Now, after you've downloaded all of that, the first thing we're gonna do is open up the user early access version for 20. Very nice. If any file zipped, which is not zipped for me right now, extract it or unpack it or whatever you wanna call it, just so that's clear. If you have any questions or if it works, comment it down below for people to learn from your mistakes or to show them that this guide is real because I do not like scamming people. <laughs> that's why you also gotta like the video. All right, so we open up Yuzu Early Access and for you, it will say that you do not have keys. If you click OK on that message and go to File, Open Yuzu Folder, you'll have less folders than this. If you do not have a keys folder, which can happen, you just make one. So you make a new folder and you call it exactly keys, no capital letters or anything. After that, double click on it. You put in the prod.keys file. You will not need any of these. You only need the prod keys file. Put that in the keys folder first, okay? Then you reopen Yuzu and it will not say the same message again. Now after that, you will see this big plus button which says add new game directory. Now you double click on it and you find your games. In my case, I have them here, okay? I do not have them in these folders because otherwise it will not show the games up here, okay? As you can see, they're in Yuzu games. If I go to this path right now, you can see that all my games are actually in this folder instead of the subfolders, okay? Because it, Yuzu cannot read folders into folders. so. Put them in one folder if you have multiple games, just like I did here. In my case, it is Yuzu Games, which I already did. So after that, you click Select Folder and it will show your games. For the shader cache, if I have a link down in the description, what you gotta do is right click on it, open transferable shader cache. And uh, yeah, in this case, it is the name which you can see right here, but that will be the file in the description. If it is zipped, unzip it. After you put in that, if I got it in the description of course, is we're gonna go to emulation, configure. Here you don't really have to do anything. In system you don't really have to do anything. In graphics, if you have an AMD graphics card please choose Vulkan. If you do not have an AMD graphics card choose OpenGL. I'm not sure if the shader cache will work on Vulkan, but I know it will work on OpenGL, so if you have an NVIDIA card, please use that. Also make sure the use disk shader cache is enabled as well as the use asynchronous GPU emulation option. Now in advanced, make sure it is on normal, use VSync if you have OpenGL, and uh, you can force 30 FPS mode, but it's not necessary. Now they also added the anisotropic filtering, which is making the game look way sharper. I just put it on default because I don't want to mess with that for now. Uh, audio, everything can be on default. I enabled audio stretching and disabled the real-time audio just in case. Now for controls, this is very important. You need single-player handheld undocked, okay? 
press configure. Here is where you can set up your keyboard or controller. Click on a button, it will show blue, it will say press key and then you click the button on your controller or keyboard that you want to use. Make sure if you're using a controller that the L and R button are 5 plus and 2 plus and not 2 minus and 5 minus because they won't work. After this click OK, don't click out of it. Click OK again and now you should be good to run the game. So I'm going to double click it. I have to warn you, I will have to blur the gameplay as well as ruin the sound a little so Nintendo won't claim me for actually playing the game. Like and subscribe if this works, okay? If you see this screen, you're kind of set. If you have any problems, comment it down below. If I can't help you or the links are broken for you, join my Discord server. It's also down below. Choose your character and you can type your name in here. After that, I'm gonna press yes. I'll skip through the intro, all right? All right, so the intro is done and now is the moment of truth. All right, so I will unblur the footage right now so you can see that it is working. Normally you would be stuck here, you wouldn't hear the doorbell ring and you couldn't do anything, doesn't matter what button you press. So now you can see it says hello, hello, which I'll unblur. <laughs> then uh, yeah, hop or whatever comes in and you can just play the game. I might live stream the game on the emulator soon, so turn on notifications so you will get that as well. But as you can see, we can run around and for me it is smooth. If you turn around like this, you can make a spin and uh, do that apparently. But yeah, everything works. You can interact with, well, Pokemon. Like all the cutscenes don't crash anymore as you can see. So yeah, if this also works for you, leave a like, subscribe, share this video with your friends. That's it for me. I'm not going to play too long. And uh, yeah, for now, I'm out guys. Enjoy this game. Peace.